Hey guys, it's Double back with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you, uh, you know, my kind of first impressions of Red Dead Redemption. If I sound a little different, it's because I just woke up and I, I had this sitting on my Vegas for a couple days. want to get it over with. And if you guys seen that little first impressions intro, got to give a big thanks to uh, Murder Toys Media, or Ollie as I know him because we're pretty good friends. Thanks a lot for that intro. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So now every time you guys see a first impressions video, I'm going to have an intro for it, which will be pretty nice. And uh, he's got a lot of cool commentaries and stuff on his channel and uh, Street Fighter stuff and After Effects. He's an After Effects wizard. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> so go check out his channel. I'll put a link at the end and I'll uh, remind you guys at the very end of this to check out his channel. So um, I want to go into a bit, you know, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, personally, when I first saw this game, I was like, no fucking way. I'm not going to get it because this looks like gun revamped. But uh, it actually is a really, really well put together game. It's amazing. The story is incredible. The gameplay is intense. Uh, the fighting is awesome. Uh, the gunfights are just incredible. And uh, something I didn't get to show in this video. So if you guys wanted me to see another one and I'm just going to like talk about random shit like I always do. Um, you know, let me know. I'll do a mission or I'll do some multiplayer. But uh, yeah, Red Eye, basically, you you press, um, it, while you're aiming down your sights, you click the right thumbstick and it goes into kind of like a slow motion thing and you drag your crosshair over people and it kind of puts a marker on them and that's where you're going to shoot them so you can get like 10 people at once and just like dome them all, it's insane uh, I think that's like such a cool part of the game and it refills based on how many people you kill and uh, it's really neat so um, what you just seen there was the wheel select thing uh, which I don't like uh, I, I never really liked it, but I think that's just me because I'm a Twitch shooter uh, kind of guy. Um, you know, like Halo 3 and stuff like that. Or, you know, Halo 3 is not much of a Twitch shooter, but like first person shooter games like that, which are quick and you can change guns quickly. I think that's my problem. So, this game, uh, that's not my that's my, my least favorite part about it. So, it that's uh, not even that bad. But, uh, yeah, you, d you do get used to it after a while, and uh, the cover system is actually pretty decent. Um, you slide in the cover, and actually cover is really, really useful in this game. Uh, at certain times, you're getting overwhelmed by a lot of enemies, and you got to take them on all yourself because, you know, you're a total badass in the West, right? What do you do? So, um, what else can I say about the game? The gunfire and all the weapons in this game are really, really natural. They feel great. Um, there's a lot of different we weapons you can get, and they even went out of their way to have, like, a lot of different horses. So every horse is, like... There's a little bit difference in speed. They're not just like, it's not like the same horse over and over again. You can get like um, this one horse called the Kentucky Saddler, which is like super, super quick. Um, what else is there? But um, I really want to go with the story because the story is the best part about this game. I love the story. Uh, they're, it's just so immersive. The Each mission is just amazing. Uh, the missions in this game are always entertaining. Apparently, you know, the first few missions aren't that entertaining which I sort of agree with you're doing pretty tedious things but uh, once you get past that the game starts to really pick up and the missions are just incredible and you can see the range of the guns here so and uh, just everything looks so great about it but yeah so you're John Marsden uh, I'll go into a little bit of the story uh, if you want you're John Marsden and uh, I think you moved out here to get rid of or uh, to kill this one guy that you used to kind of be within a criminal uh, partner in crime kind of guy thing. So you're going to kill him to save your family or something like that or protect them. Uh, I didn't really pick it up too much. Sorry, I don't know like a, a, a lot about this game. Uh, I'm just starting, you know, getting through it myself here. But yeah, um, and you're going through and you're pretty much getting a team together to raid uh, this place and I think to initially kill um, your partner in crime. So uh, that's pretty much the whole backstory and, you know, at the beginning, you're just helping a lot of people. There's a lot of different things to do mission-wise. There's bounty missions. There's horse-breaking missions. There's a lot of mini-games and stuff you can do, like uh, horseshoeing. You can, like, throw the horseshoes and stuff like that. Poker, five-finger fillet. There's a lot of uh, things to keep you occupied, and I'm pretty sure this game will have a nice shelf time. So uh, I would definitely try this game out, guys. If you guys haven't seen it already, you're wondering what it is, um, this is Red Dead Redemption, and I'm pretty sure... You guys should take a look at it. A lot of it's sold out absolutely everywhere. So uh, I really am enjoying this game, which I didn't think I would be saying because I wasn't really excited for it at all. But um, I take that back now, and it's an incredible game. Um, what else can I say about it before uh, the video ends off here? So oh yeah, the multiplayer. Uh, the multiplayer is a really really fun part of the game. So if you guys uh, you got some friends 
that you want to play this with and you don't want to play single player, don't worry. There's like a bunch. There's a multiplayer aspect to it as well, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you can start up your own posse. You can go into gang shootouts. There's a lot of uh, interesting little game modes to go into on the game. And I think, uh, you know, adding that in there, like Grand Theft Auto 4 did, um, but they took it a little, a little bit further, which was a neat thing to do. You can go through and do gang hideouts and stuff like that and level up. And uh, you call your horse in online uh, with the up on the D-pad. It's a whistle thing. So you get your horse, and based on how high you're leveled up, uh, you, the horse you get is a little bit quicker. And I think that's neat to have like kind of like a level up thing. And I think you get different guns and stuff as you rank up. So they had some kind of, you know, factor in online, which, you know, keeps you going and keep you wanting to play the game. That besides the single player. The single player is really, really amazing. And uh, here's a little example of the cutscenes. But, uh... Thanks guys for watching. I hope you like my first impressions of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, ciao guys. See you next time.